What's up guys? Once again, um, we're talking about lower abs and obliques that gives you that V taper. For most of us out there, the lower abs is usually a great deal of problem for most people. Most people work, get more results in the upper abs, but at the same time, when it gets to the lower abs, it's very, very, it takes a long time for that lower back to, lower abs to develop and flatten out. I think the, for me personally, I think the reason for that is most people spend more time counting reps instead of really contracting and working the abs. I hear people who tell me, oh, I do about, you know, 400 leg lifts every day, or they do about 50 crunches. You know, the numbers mean nothing. The number means nothing if your ab is re not really reacting to what you're doing. So basically what I'm gonna teach you with these five exercises is I'm gonna show you how to actually use your ab muscle, both upper, lower, and also your oblique muscle to be able to, um, to, be able to achieve the results you're looking for because it's not about how many reps you do. It's about how much contraction you're getting from the muscle you're training. So I'm gonna do, give you five exercises that I love to do when it comes to the obliques and lower abs. The first one I'm gonna do is decline leg lift. So basically you're gonna be on a decline bench, you grab onto the bench on the, on the top side, and then you allow your abs from your lower legs to stay hanging, and then before your lower leg comes up, before your legs come up, you have to contract your abs first before you lift your, lift, uh, before you lift your leg up. So I'm gonna show you the exercise right now. Now I'm on a decline bench, so you wanna get yourself a decline bench. Decline benches in, in most gyms are very different from each other, so this is the one that we're using today. So what you want to do is lay, out, lay back, flatten your back. So as you guys can see already, my abs are already activated. So I want to grab onto the side of the bench. Some, some bench have something you can hold onto here a little higher, but this one you're just going to grab on the side. So what you want to do is extend your legs. So what, this is what you don't want to do. This is what you don't want to do. I see guys doing this. Oh, I see people doing this, swinging their body up and down. So remember, it's not about how many reps we do, it's about how much contraction we get in the muscle. So this is what you want to do. You want to hold on, extend, or you can cross your leg. So what you want to do is squeeze your abs first, up, and then lift your hips up a little, then come down, use the abs to control, right about there, squeeze the abs, lift the hips up, still using your abs to control, really slow. As you guys can see, I'm not only using my lower abs, you can feel, see my upper abs moving, and you can also see my external internal obliques moving. I'm gonna do one more, squeeze the abs, and then lift the hips up, down slow. Woo! Man, I don't even know how many reps I did there. Um, I can feel everything from the lower side of my abdomen, really, really hard contraction. I feel the side of my obliques a little bit more, and I can even feel my upper abs. So all you wanna do with this exercise is make sure you contract your abs first before your legs come up. Don't do it the other way around. Don't swing your legs up and try to lift up and keep count counting reps. So do, do these exercises right, slow it down, feel the body and mind connection working and I guarantee you that your ab muscle, your lower ab muscle are gonna develop and you're gonna get that flatness you're looking for. Okay, the second exercise I'm gonna show you is an oblique exercise so you can get that nice V cut, you know, around your waist that you've been looking for. So we're gonna use the decline bench once more. Um, we're gonna start a decline bench. So to walk the left side of your obliques, you wanna to turn to the left, hook, your left leg right on the top under the hook and then the right leg goes under and then you turn sideways so your right hand goes across your body on the lower side and then your left side left hand goes on the back of your head you want to go down really slow squeeze your obliques first and come up down really slow squeeze first before you come down you want to maximize the contraction of the muscle at the peak of the movement. You don't wanna keep swinging your body back and forth like that. You wanna go really slow, right about there. Squeeze the obliques right there. You're gonna feel, I'm feeling right there, external internal obliques. A little bit of my abs right here on the left side. 
squeeze and the lower side. So that's the second exercise, decline oblique crunch. So you wanna squeeze your, uh, squeeze your obliques at the peak of the movement. Now, I'm gonna always emphasize this. It's not about how many repetitions you do. You can do 30, 40, 50 repetitions. It doesn't really matter if you don't feel the maximum contraction around your obliques or in your obliques. So the goal is to make sure you squeeze your obliques first before your body comes up. You're gonna really find out that you can't really do a lot of repetitions if you're gonna get 10, you're gonna get eight, or you're gonna get 15. The key word right here is maximum contraction around your obliques. So make sure you pay attention to these mind and body connection, and this is how you do side decline oblique crunch. This exercise is gonna help you bring in that V cut that you're really looking for around your waistline on the lower side of your abs. All right, guys. The next exercise I'm gonna show you, this third exercise, is called bench V-ups. Um, once again, this exercise emphasizes more stress on the lower side of the abs. So what you wanna do, you wanna sit on the edge of a bench, and you wanna lean back a little bit. Just show you right on the, the butt cheek is right on the edge of the bench. Lean back a little bit. Now, I see a lot of people do this exercise in the gym. They're just rocking their body back and forth, swinging their body back and forth, counting reps over and over and nothing is really happening in their abs, in their lower abs. So this is what you don't wanna do. You don't wanna do this. This right here is not really doing anything. All this doing is walking your ego, telling your friends you do about 20, 25, 30, or 50 V-ups or leg lifts every day, which is not gonna to amount to anything. So what you wanna do is make sure you have a steady hand behind you on the bench and you wanna bring your legs together. You can cross your legs if you want to so your legs don't swing all over the place. Bring your legs together, and all you have to do is just lift your legs, squeezing your abs, come down slow a lot about there, abs still engage, squeeze at the top, come down really slow, squeeze the abs first. As you can see, I'm not swinging my body back and forth, and I can really feel the contraction mostly in the lower side of my abs. And you're gonna squeeze at the top, using your abs to lift your legs and not lifting your legs first. Squeeze right there. I mean, I didn't even know how many reps I did. Maybe eight, maybe 10, I don't know. But what I do know is that my abs right now, my lower abs, sometimes your upper, back, upper abs is gonna get, get involved but I feel it more on the lower side of my abs. I can feel them burning, burning right now like crazy. So that's what it's all about. It's not about, you know, the numbers. The numbers doesn't really count if the muscle is not reacting. So my abs are on fire right now. Make sure you do this exercise the right way. If you wanna get the result that you're really looking for, think about the muscles first. The number, it is what it is. It doesn't really count. The most important thing is how you look is more important than how many repetitions you do, what numbers you're counting to. It doesn't really matter. Make sure you focus on the muscle, and when you get to the top, make sure you get a maximum contraction at the top of the movement. You know, let me turn around. I'm going to turn my back towards you and show you how I, my hands are right there, just a little steady, and I'm leaning back low and I'm just squeezing up and down. So, now that's how I, you know, use the V-up leg lift to get my lower abs to react. Do the exercise the right way and you're gonna get the ma maximum results you're looking for.
So if you want to get your abs and the blades shredded just like this, make sure you concentrate on that muscle. It's not about how many repetitions you do, it's about the quality of the repetitions you do. So you get your abs in tune and you get your obliques in tune because those areas are difficult areas. You have to really spend your time, body and mind connection to get those areas to react the way you want to. And that will get your abs shredded and obliques looking amazing for the rest of your life. So I want to thank everyone for sending in their comments and clicking the thumbs up button on the bottom. You know, send any comments you want, ask me any questions. Once again, if you want to get a full program of all these exercises or nutritional tips that I'm giving you, go on to MiamiMuscleUSA.com. All the, all the exercises are there, all the nutritional tips are there for every single body path, every single body type, your ectomorph, your mesomorph, and endomorph. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.